So this will be uh, part two of my breakdown of my particular solar system's capacity and costs. So as I outlined in the first uh, video, uh, total cost of all the solar components, assuming you're just grid tying, cost you 2000 cost me 2082 uh, my return investment 6.29 years my capacities 4,000 watts a day so we're talking about 120 uh, kilowatts a month okay now say you would like to add a optional battery back um, capacity so if the grid goes down um, and you can't grid tie you're going to need some way to store your energy you produce. Uh, and that would have to be stored somewhere. You store it in the batteries. And the battery uh, also allows you to uh, run off that completely off the grid. So if you invest in that, and I'm just giving you my, my cost, my breakdown. There's more expensive. There's less expensive out there. But here we go. First, you're going to need, when you get into batteries, you're going to need a charge controller. Now, I have a non-MPPT controller. MPPT is much better. Um, mine's really more of a wind controller, but I'm just giving you my breakdown. So here's mine. I got a Coleman 440 um, amp charge controller. You can do 12 volt or 24 volt. Cost me $189, Missouri Wind and Solar. So just to give you an idea of the capacity of 24 volts, 440 amps times your volts is your watts. That allows you to produce uh, or handle up to 10,560 watts an hour. You know, in the course of an average day here, this thing could handle 63,000 watts a day. Um, way more than I'll ever need, but there you have it. That cost me 189 um, Next, you're going to need the deep cycle batteries. These are my Interstate uh, 2200s. I'm going to get in there. I got four of them, but we'll, um, anyway, let's get into, uh, these. These are, you gotta, you need deep cycle. Um, so they can be discharged fully and, or almost fully and then recharged continuously. All right, Interstate 2200s, they each come, they're six volt batteries. They each come with 232 amp hours per battery. Cost me $150 per battery in my local Interstate dealer. Now I have four of these six volts batteries that I run in parallel and series to make 12 volt battery and to combine the amps. Fortunately, I can, you can only combine, I can only double the amp hours when you do run in uh, parallel and series. So that gives me a maximum storage of 8,352 uh, watts I can store uh, in these. So, you know, for me that's, getting close to half of my my home I hope I did that calculation right I think that's right okay um, next you're gonna need a way of running off your batteries I mean unless everything in your house runs DC which I highly doubt uh, everything in your house really runs AC so you need to invert that uh, power that DC current from your battery into AC so you'll need an inverter I got the co the uh, Cobra 2500 watt inverter uh, it's rated 2500 watts continuously um, and up to 5000 watt surge pick that up at Amazon for $350 I'll just quick show you that here um, and it also has a voltmeter on it as well and, it'll, and that'll also show you how many amps you're drawing at any given time and it gives you three plugs um, to plug off of so you can run extension, there's a lot of ways of doing it, but anyway. Next. You, what I have, and you don't need it, <clears throat> is a battery monitor. I picked up a Trimetric 2025 RV. Picked it up at Alt e Store for $158. This thing just, it's like your gas gauge. It gives you everything. Watts coming in, watts going out, on and on and on. I'll put up a video on, on that monitor um, later on. But it's a fantastic monitor. Um, then you're going to need the cabling, the, the battery cabling, etc. Sensing wires. In my case, I need sensing wires for my trimetric battery monitor and shunt. All of that's going to cost uh, cost me anyway $150. Then you got breakers and fuses you'll need. It's another $100. So total cost 
of the panels, the disconnect, the grid tie inverter, the DC breaker fuses, the solar wire, and then the optional battery backup. Everything cost me $36.29, so obviously my ROI is going to go down. Here it's uh, only 10 point, pays for itself in almost 11 years. Not that great, but what do you see when you increase the capacity? Because a lot of this stuff you're not going to buy a second time. A lot of it's redundant, so this ROI is going to ch change dramatically, as uh, you'll see in the next several videos. So anyway, but what this does give you, um, with my first video didn't with just a straight solar grid tie is it gives you um, convenience to run when the grid's down and you can't grid tie um, and, and uh, etc blackouts and those things so there you go